Hey everybody, welcome back. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Usually you hear crickets after that part of the wedding, but not every time. We're looking at some people that objected at weddings. And if any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, please speak now. I do. They're both married. Excuse me? They're both married. Did she just say they're both married? I think that's what she said. Well, I mean, in most Western societies, it's not actually legal to marry someone if you're already married. So, word of advice, if you're getting married, make sure you're not already married. <laughs> All right, I know y'all have already seen this. I know, I know. Y'all, you can't be, I mean, this the channel recycles content, it's so annoying. You know what? Not everyone has seen every video of mine. Fan behavior. <laughs> we have to include this video. Like we literally have to. It's not going to be the same without it. What I say goes. I'm gonna say my son has flaws. Yeah, I don't have to leave. That trash you're wearing, we've Let's calm down. <laughs> You're not gonna ruin my You marriage. are not gonna say my okay. son has flaws. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everybody has flaws, so that's why I love them. Uh, you can leave, yeah. Judy. Like, you don't have flaws. You can leave. You <laughs> can get out of my wedding now. I'm not leaving. My you can leave, Judy. You can leave. Judy. You know that she's saying that because she takes personal offense to being told that like her son has flaws because like she raised him, right? So that's like offensive to her. But I mean, not very many people would object at their own son's wedding. So maybe there are things you might need to work on, Judy. The groom's dad interrupted the wedding to ask the bride's father whether or not she truly was a virgin. Well, how the f you know that? I'm sorry, what is this, the 14th century? Since when is that an issue? Do we still worry about stuff like that? Maybe in some cultures. But again, how would the father know that? <laughs> the bride's ex objected and he said he still loved her. They had become friends again after breaking up and so far as anyone knew, his feelings for her were just as platonic, especially given that he broke up with her. He got kicked out and the wedding continued, but it was pretty messed up and put a real damper on the day. Yeah, I can, I can see why. It just makes me think, you know all those, those people that just say, oh, you know, I'm not ready yet, or you're the kind of person that you marry, not date or whatever the excuse is. And they just think that you'll be around forever, just waiting for them. Clearly she didn't wait and uh, he was too late. That rhymed. <laughs> And this is your reminder to brush your teeth, because I forgot today. <laughs> and subscribe! The groom himself stood up and started crying, and in front of everyone told the bride that he had fallen out of love with her a while before, but hadn't known how to break it off. I feel like there are better ways to break it off than at your wedding. They both stepped out, but then 10 minutes later came back and got married because she apparently told him she was pregnant. No, she did not. It is true that a lot of people stay in relationships, you know, for the kids. Oh, somebody please, they got the children. Whether or not that's the right thing to do remains to be seen, but I'm sure it must be difficult. I was at an outdoor ceremony once and a storm was coming in. The pastor was trying to move things along so we wouldn't get caught in the rain. He asked if anyone knew of any objection and instantly there was a loud clap of thunder. To his credit, the pastor just paused a moment and then said, anyone else? And finished the ceremony. Who better to object than God himself? Kinda sounds like a sign to me. I'm just kidding. Nobody had said speak now, but the groom's ex still decided to get up and scream that he was her soulmate, that she forgave him for this whole thing. <laughs> like the wedding, you mean? Oh, I forgive you for getting married to someone else. Well, that's good to know. And they should leave now because he'd proven his point by breaking up with her five years earlier, falling in love and holding a wedding. I ate so much cake and got so drunk at that wedding. I hope you did, sweetheart. I hope you did. Where's my cake? You didn't save any for me? I'd eat the whole damn cake. That's what's up. Is there anybody that objects to this marriage today? Anybody at all? <laughs> I do! I figured you would. Yeah, there we go. I just wanted to make sure I was, I was the only one. Yes, I object to this wedding! 
This woman is in love with me. She is being forced into marriage and I am here to save her from it. For, no woman gets forced into marriage. What are you talking about, forced? Yeah, yeah. She's been forced into marriage, man. And I'm here to stop it. Okay. You want to play like that? Yeah, All right, let's do play. it, man. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's let's go. go. Let's yeah, I'll you have you know. Gentlemen, seconds. Please. What? I'll have you know. I am a master of Rochambeau. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, bro? I'm ready. You ready? All right, man. Here we go. Ready? One, two, oh. three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two out of three. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you switched it at the last second, man. What are you doing? All right, man. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah, that's a goocher. I'll tell you what, this is a formal event, correct? Yes. Why don't you settle this in a formal way? Happen to have a golf bag oh, here yes, full yes, of yes, weapons. Yes. All oh, right, yeah. he gets the time! Are you kidding me? Yes, yeah, yes. all right. <laughs> you know what, I don't really play golf. Can we switch? Is that cool? Thanks. Pausing this. I, my money is on the groom. The guy with the golf club. Place your bets. Really top heavy, man. I've got a sciatica thing going on. <laughs> uh, this is real. I'm sorry. Can, do we? Ha do you have anything else? Yeah, let's try something else. All right, here we go. Let's try. Oh, oh yeah. That's oh, what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, look at that. All right, buddy. Get ready to meet your doom. I was really looking forward to seeing that golf club, but a sword will do. Here we go. Voltron. <laughs> Here we go, man. Ready? Oh, that's a good one too. All right, ready? Yeah! <laughs> 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 I you guys. I didn't get killed. She totally missed me. Ah, I got you guys going. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah! 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 All right, all right, I get the point. My question is, where is the bride? Where is she? She's she's not there at all. Has she come down the aisle? Where did she go? Was she ever there? Serious now, let's get serious. The ceremony was interrupted by the woman the groom was seeing on the side, who was there with their baby. It ended with the groom trying to talk everyone into being more open-minded. What about the bride? Is she open-minded? Was she aware of that? She probably figured that out. One of my friends interrupted his cousin's wedding to come out of the closet. He couldn't understand why people were so pissed at him. Really? I can understand and I wasn't even there. Okay, listen, listen. Shh. <laughs> I almost, I just like picked my nose. It's interesting that you chose that moment to come out. I'm sure that must have been very difficult. Not sure why you chose that particular moment, but let's all remember guys, other people's weddings are not about you. It would definitely kind of ruin that whole moment for you because instead of being happy for you, they're pissed that you chose that particular moment. A member of my wife's family had a pirate-themed wedding. Oh, that's fun. A rival pirate appeared and objected to the wedding. The groom du <laughs> dueled him and won. The only acceptable wedding objection, okay? The only one. Did you also play the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song while you fought? While you dueled? I should hope so. Otherwise, I'll be very disappointed in you. I went to a co-worker's wedding and the maid of honor objected and admitted to being the other woman, claiming that the groom had been cheating with her for months. The bride left in tears and the groom immediately tried to get with the maid of honor. He... What? Like it, like, like at the wedding? But she told him she wasn't gonna hurt the bride further and he needed to off. I... 
I would agree with her. This is like, you shouldn't have been cheating in the first place, but I appreciate that you were honest enough to do it before they got married. Must have been hard. The best man at my stepsister's wedding objected at the rehearsal the night before. The minister was going over the vows quickly while giving instructions on what to do. When he said something about objections, the best man interrupted saying he had to put a stop to this. He was in love with the bride and was sure she felt the same way. My sister and everyone else was horrified. It caused plenty of chaos and confusion. As far as I know, neither the bride nor the groom ever spoke to him again. I would think that unless you are actively in a relationship, you shouldn't profess your love for someone, you know? At least I wouldn't because I'm very afraid of rejection, especially this level of rejection. Oof, oof. That was a stinger. At my cousin's wedding during the exchange of vows, my aunt shouted, wasn't there supposed to be a part where you could object? Yeah, do they still say that though? I don't know if they do. Like maybe sometimes? That should just be taken out. You know, like why is that even there? There shouldn't be an opportunity at the wedding to end the wedding, you know? My wedding was at my grandmother's house out in the country next to a cattle farm. The cows hadn't made a peep until the objection line when one finally let out a moo. <laughs> we had to laugh and then carried on. Cowsy. What a cow. About five years ago, I went to a coworker's very fancy wedding. The bride and groom were at the altar, smiling and looking deep into each other's eyes. When the attendees were told to speak now or forever hold their peace. I got anxious like I always do, despite the fact that nothing ever happens. But right as soon as my anxiousness had faded away, the bride's mother stood up and objected, blurting out some about how she didn't want to continue their family with a man like him, meaning the groom. The bride-to-be ran off crying and the wedding went silent. The bride's dad took the mom and ran after the bride. The groom, on the other hand, stood there awkwardly until the groomsman took him away. I had to leave because it was too weird. <laughs> Apparently the reception went on, though they did not get married that day. They wound up having a private ceremony and are still happily married! Love that. Love that. I'm so happy for them. How could you care in that wedding? You know what I'm saying? You just had to care in the wedding, didn't you, Judy? <laughs> Karen has become a verb, an action. To Karen is to ask to speak to the manager of said wedding or said establishment, and then proceed to act like an entitled my wife once dragged me to a wedding that I didn't want to go to, but I'm forever grateful that she did because I was able to witness one of the greatest spectacles of human drama that has ever taken place. Yes, I love the drama. It was like an episode of Jerry Springer mixed with cops. The bride's lover objected and yelled, I'll be goddamned if I keep my mouth shut and let you steal my woman, you sorry piece of the deranged man proceeded to come at the groom, threatening to shoot him if he didn't give her up. By George. It wasn't a huge wedding, maybe 40 or so people, but every single one of them went screaming and running. And maybe two people stayed and called the cops. I grabbed my wife's hand and we retreated outside to watch the rest of the scene unfold from the church window. <laughs> I don't know why other people's drama makes me laugh so much. It really does though. All right, we're gonna end this with on a lighter note. Okay, honeys and bunnies, honey bunny poop poop faces, let's go. It's a surprising moment at a wedding. Is there anybody here that would like to raise an objection? I would. It's not something you ever expect to happen, except maybe in a movie. But the woman raising the objection has more to say. I love both of you so very much. And I know the one thing in the world that you both would want so much is to have Colton here. The Colton she is referring to was the 11 year old son of Dean and Monica Birkenhoff, the couple about to get married. Colton died during a freak accident Aww. and the grieving parents made the decision to donate all his organs, including his heart. Colton gets to live on even though he's not physically here, a piece of him still gets to go on. Travis Stuffelbean is the young man who was lucky enough to be given Colton's heart. Travis has been battling heart problems all his life. The left side of my heart was dying, the right side was already dead. Travis had never met his donor's parents, so when they finally decided to tie the knot after many years of building a blended family together, the bride's sister Amanda had an idea. Realistically, Colton oh. could not be there, obviously, but I wanted to give them the next best thing and it was Travis. Travis made the trip from Arkansas to Houston for the special day. When he appeared at the wedding, he was a total stranger to everyone, sort of. Travis walked around the corner and I mean, I immediately knew who he was. Just overwhelming, you know, feeling of, you know, he's here, like it's really happening, like Colton's heart's here with us. Travis brought along a stethoscope. Just listen. 
And I listen to his heartbeat, and that's when it, I really start crying. I just made the day ten times better, you know. Not only do I get to marry somebody that I love, you know, and I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, but now Colton's heart gets to experience that with us. So, it was nice. A bride, a groom, and the stranger who gave the newlyweds the greatest wedding gift of all. A chance to listen to their late son's beating heart. Oh, God! Ah, who's cutting onions in here? <gasps> Get it together! That was beautiful. And her heart grew three quarters of a size that day. Let's go!